Good morning everybody. Today I'm doing a full face of Dior makeup. I'm so excited. I've bought so much stuff for this video. I've also got some stuff that they kindly have sent me in the past because I'm on PR. So we're going to do a mixture of stuff I already know I love plus try a few new things together. I'm so hyped. First I'm just going to cheat a little bit because my brows are really haywire. So I'm just taking my XO Beauty Stay In Place stick and I'm just going to gel my brows which is just going to make them nice and flat and then we can um you know use our Dior brow products I'm pretty sure I bought like a pencil or a gel or something like that so this is just to prep them and this is amazing for flyaways and like frizz too see this piece of fringe here how oh, it's like real wispy I'm just going to use a small amount and look at that like literally this is life changing it's not sticky heavy it doesn't go crunchy like hairspray it doesn't go oily or greasy like a gel it is life changing so if you have flyaways like literally you need this in your life look at that difference straight away instant perfect uh yes you can find that on exabeautyshop.com i just thought i'd give it a shout out because i haven't really shown it too much yet and it's literally amazing and it's becoming one of our best sellers without me even talking about it so like you know it's good like our customers are loving it i'm so excited anyways moving along i'm just gonna clip my hair up now so it's kind of pointless using these exo beauty hair clips these are dent free so you don't get like big dents in your hair after you've styled it i've just fake tanned so we're looking nice and bronzed i'm going to figure out what color foundation i need i do have a couple of different shades so i've actually got two different foundations as well we're gonna go with the shade 2n i feel like that's gonna be good and we have the forever skin glow and we also have the matte one and i have actually done first impressions on both of these if you are interested in checking them out just if you want like a really in-depth you know look at the foundation so i'll link those down below i also have like another video from years ago where i tried out their forever range um or like what is it called backstage range i think so you know if you want some more dior fixing <laughs> then check the down bar but i do like these foundations uh i don't know which one to go with today i might just go with the regular forever and then use their really glowy base to make it more bright this stuff is so nice and you can actually use it on body as well it's called the dior backstage face and body glow shake well it's super fluidy and liquidy i'm sure you've probably seen this before online this is the shade 001 universal and look at the like gorgeous like golden pearlescent kind of shade it's just so flattering and i feel like it would just suit like you know any undertone even because once you blend it out i'll show you I'm actually going to use a angled face brush to blend that. It's super light. Like, it feels like almost like a serum consistency. If you compare it to stuff like the Flawless Filter, Charlotte Tilbury, and like the Auric Glow Lust, and products like that, I'd say it's much more fluidy. And probably less intense almost. Oh, it's still quite intense. I don't know. It's like lighter though. Very moisturizing and serum-y. And you can kind of just like keep blending it. And it just yeah it buffs right in look how pretty that is it almost like gives you a little bit of like a color to just like even out your skin tone a little bit but i just think it looks really nice under foundation you can also obviously use it on top of your foundation if you want to as a nice natural like highlighter like a fluid oh my god look oh shit honestly i just don't know how to get like makeup products out of clothing i just i don't get it i don't get it at all i'm just gonna put some on my chest too because a freshly fake tan you know sometimes when you're fresh fake tan the color guard sticks to like imperfections i have like a little bit of a rash so this is just gonna even out my chest hopefully <laughs> i'm a huge fan of this product like on the body it looks so nice look at that oh forgot i haven't used it like this in a long time hit the shoulders just makes your skin look really hydrated honestly like really moisturized um it doesn't end up looking super shiny or anything it's just healthy you know i love the packaging too it really like clicks in listen it's like satisfying you know all right foundation time so once again shade 2 in deal forever foundation 24 hour wear high perfection skin caring foundation i do like this i've used it a lot just in my everyday oh it might be a little bit pale actually but we will roll with it guys look at all my really i'm just wetting my sponge right now and like drying it um look at my cute flowers at the back see those ones in the middle oh those ones just there my friend got me it for 
my birthday. They're so pretty. I've got three little bookcases and a little jar for the ones on the far, like the purpley ones. I love them though. I want to like set up that back area really nice again because it's kind of just like a shambles right now. Anyway, this is the Flawless Finished Sponge Bake So Beauty. Our new sponges are almost here too. I'm so excited. I'll let you guys know when they're here. Oh, my cheek just made a weird noise. Honestly, I feel like I don't really need too much coverage today, but this does have really good coverage. I just feel like since I've tanned and also the primer stuff, it really did help to even out everything. So I just feel like I need less foundation on top. I can't even talk right now. Ugh, what's wrong with my brain? We're in lockdown right now, so that's probably got something to do with it. I've literally just been potatoing. Uh, I've been live streaming a lot because like it makes me feel productive when I'm not being productive because I'm just like playing games and putting on makeup. Um, and people are like, oh, what are your plans? And I'm like, I don't know, just like existing, like pretty much just eating, sleeping, drinking water, drinking coffee <laughs> and playing video games and watching Netflix and the spot of work as well, you know? So I had to stay motivated when you work from home with other people at home, I feel like whenever, ha like, because obviously I work from home, I'm a YouTuber, but like when Hamish is also working from home, it's so distracting. Like, I used to be able to do it so easily back in the day. But I don't know. I'm just obviously much easier. E e much more easily distracted. I can't even think right. My brain just has not been stimulated in a little while. <laughs> but yeah, the lockdown so far is going alright, I think. Hopefully it doesn't get extended. By the time you watch this, like, we're either going to be in an extended lockdown or it's going to be over by the time I share this video. But... You know, just just yarning, just yarning. Then we have the Skin Correct Forever Concealer. Love this so much. I think I have a couple of shades of it. This one kind of matches my skin tone, which is fine. Let me know, what is the COVID situation where you live? Are you in lockdowns? Are you living life like normal? Is it still really bad where you are? Like, what's the situation? In New Zealand, like, we've got, like, a lot of cases, though. Well, not a lot. We've got, like couple hundred I think of this Delta. It's the Delta that got in um, and we went into lockdown as soon as we had one case which is just so amazing because otherwise you know it'd be much harder to tackle at this point and we'd be in a much longer lockdown. I'm hoping that because they got onto it so early we can squash it because I hate lockdown. Don't think I'm like all for lockdowns. I freaking hate lockdowns. They make me feel gross like I just want to go to the gym and like have a normal life and like have Hamish go to work so I can like have that house to myself so I can film some videos. I hate lockdowns but I also think that you know it's better to have a lockdown quickly, squash it and then continue like normal like we did in New Zealand for so long. Like here in New Zealand while the rest of the world was like you know dealing with it all we were just kind of like normal. We were living life like normal. Um, so yeah I'd be keen to go back to that to be honest. But this concealer is bomb honestly. I love it. Even when you leave it there for a little bit and you just like let it kind of chill and then blend it like it just the coverage is really nice and it looks smooth. If you often like the concealers that I like I'd give it a go. I'm gonna try out the lip glow in 008 ultra pink. I actually got this in PR recently. I used the one in regular pink. It's not called regular pink. Here it is. I use this one in a stream. It's the Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm. So pretty. So pretty. But I just, I'm curious to see what this ultra pink looks like. Ooh. Stunning. I love these kind of colors. Let's try it on. I like the balms. They feel really nice on the lips. Um, and I will be following up with the lipstick later, but... Oh yeah, that feels good. I feel like that one's nicer with like, you know, if you had a full face of makeup, but you didn't want lipstick and it's just like a stain look almost. This one here... It has a tint of colour, but like you could also wear it for like no makeup days kind of thing. And then they also have one that's just completely clear, which is this one. And the packaging is just to die for, like it's so cute. You'll be seeing me using that a lot. Okay, this product is a non-negotiable. I am obsessed with this. You need to try it. The packaging, first of all, is just like amazing. It reminds me of like Y2K. Um, and it usually has like the deals all over it, but I've used mine a lot, so it's starting to go away. But it's so pretty. It's the Dior Backstage Powder No Powder. This is in the shade 2N once again. And sometimes I'll use this as like a bronzer if I don't have fake tan on. It's so pretty. It literally blurs your skin. I'll link down below the video where I tried it for the first time. It's worth a watch. I was literally like speechless and you can see it go on and it was like, like I can't, I can't even. Like if I zoom you all the way in, 
Let's look at some of this texture here and on my chin. Just in real time. See how it's just starting to like soften it? Look at that. It's just like completely smooths and sets your makeup and looks so soft. So I'm just running some of that all over. And I had a few like breakout scars just down on my chin here before we started. I don't know if you guys could see them in the intro, but now like they covered so well. This lighting's not as good as in the video where I first tried this, so go check out that video. You can really see it work. So excited. It is the Dior Skin Mineral Nude Bronze, Golden Mineral Infused Bronzer. And it's in the shade Warm at Sunrise 04. And when you buy Dior compacts, they come in these little velvet cases. To be honest, I throw them away, but it's still cute. I love the packaging. Holy shit, it's so pretty. It's like the highlighter packaging, which I love, except on the back it is bronze. I'm really hoping I like this. Ooh, look at it. It's real pretty. Ooh, it's the case on the mirror. Yeah, that looks really nice. It's got a little bit of like an overspray but it goes away straight away. Okay, so it's kind of matte looking, I think, like satin or matte. Um, hopefully I didn't just put way too much product on my brush. No, it looks good. The color straight off the bat is so pretty. I can tell, like, it's just a really beautiful, nice, warm color. I'm just clicking. I don't know if I have an eyeshadow palette. Well, like I definitely used to because I've done a video using the eyeshadows before, but I don't know if I have them anymore. I'll have to check. How did I forget like the most important part? <laughs> so just applying this everywhere I normally would put bronzer. This is actually not that dark. I thought it would be quite dark because it's shade 4 but uh, yeah it's really not at all. It's so natural. The undertone is stunning. I kind of wish it was a little bit darker though. And then I'm just going to quickly do the brows. I do like this. I think it goes on really smooth. The colour is beautiful. It's like a satin finish. It's definitely not matte. Yeah I just wish it was half a shade darker. It's, it's like it's gonna look stunning when I've got a little bit less fake to turn on to. You know, today's like my darkest day because it's fresh, but yeah, I still like it. So easy to blend too. Like it just was effortless to apply. For blush, I do have the Rosy Glow, but I couldn't get the shade one. Is it shade one? Or I don't know, the pink one. I could only get the coral one. Um, but one of my followers was so kind and she's already bought it and sent it to me. So I'm gonna have to send her a giant like gift to say thank you because it's so nice of her because she said that she bought an extra one in Germany when it came in stock. This is how they look. I'm so excited to try the pink one because apparently it's like amazing but this color looks insanely cute. Like it's like neon peach. So I'm gonna use the same brush um, that I bronzed with and it's quite bright looking. Let's try it on. Ooh, I love it. It really does make your skin kind of glow because it's got that kind of neon undertone to it. So it really like pops. I think that color is still really pretty. And it's still quite different to other blushes that I have because I feel like a lot of the peach blushes I have don't have that kind of undertone where it's super, super neon. Like that one really does pop. So I'm just gonna put some on my nose too. It really brightens your complexion a lot. Like this would be like so pretty. You know, on days when you just feel like really dull and need like bright skin. Obsessed, love it, and if everyone loves the pink one way more than this one, like I'm very excited to try the pink one. Let me know down below if you tried it yet, and if so, what are your thoughts? Is it overrated or do you really love it? Or do you, any of you guys know any dupes as well? This is the Dior Show Pump and Brow in shade 2, and I'm quite excited to try this because you guys know me, I love products like this, like I love, oh my god, that's cool pack, I got distracted. I love brow mascaras. Look at the packaging, it kind of pinches in so it's really easy to like open like it's like nice on your like hands and it's kind of like a NARS packaging feeling down the bottom here it's really nice packaging I love how you can see the color you can see very clearly what it is let's try it it's got a tiny brush which I love and that product from earlier does not dry crunchy so I'm able to just go straight over the top with this product I love the color see the difference I don't know like obviously I've got my brows tinted so they don't look terrible right now but I can definitely see the difference they look thicker darker and the formula is very nice and creamy I'm just kind of using the tip of the brush to like deposit more color in some of the sparser areas of my brows this is a really nice kind of neutral color too it's not too warm and it's really easy to blend like if you do get a chunk you can just keep running over it and it's buildable I like it I feel very fresh faced, I feel pretty, like I feel like everything is just going on really nicely 
and the quality like feels good it's really easy to blend everything it all works how it should you know like nothing's you know terrible <laughs> and I think I'm gonna do is just take a little bit of under eye powder because I always set my under eye and this concealer is quite creamy and it is creasing just a little bit so I'm just gonna use this Pat McGrath powder that I've got on my desk straight in front of me and just re-smooth this you can use the Dior powder under the eyes too, but I just want to like keep it a little bit brighter. Looks like we're doing barely any eye makeup today. For highlight, I've got multiple of these. I purchased so like I think I bought all the shades. But these are the Dior Nude Air Luminizers. This is in the shade 1, so it's got their packaging again. This one's all silver, and it's so nice. And then on the inside, it's got like the pattern and like just look at the sheer color of that. Like it's just stunning. It's got a mirror. These highlighters are incredible. I've raved about them for years. I purchased this probably like three or four years ago now while I was in LA. So I'm just taking some of that product and popping that on my cheekbone. I'm also going to put it on the brow bone. Since we don't have much eyeshadow, I don't think. I'm going to check soon. I do love the look of like a more minimal eye, like just eyeliner and mascara with like gorgeous full coverage skin. Like I do think that looks really glam and pretty. Um, but I'll, yeah, I'll still see if we have any. I'm just going to pop some on my nose. The colour of this is just incredible and it just hits the light so beautifully. I love it. So if you love highlighter and love to spurge, spurge, <laughs> splurge, then Definitely check out these ones. I really like them. I've loved them for years now. This is shade 3, which I also love. It's like way more golden. Look at that. It's so pretty. Okay, yeah, from memory, I decluttered them. Like, they were okay, but they just weren't my favorite eyeshadows. Like, I think if you like quite natural makeup and everything, you might like that. It might like them. I can't even speak. Don't know. You have to watch my old videos to get my, you know, thoughts. So what I am going to do is I'm going to take a firm blender brush with the shade 4N, the powder. We're just going to softly run that over the lid. Improvising. <laughs> and under the eye, just to give a shadow. And then shade 3 of the highlighter which was the more like golden kind of vibe. We're gonna pop that on at the inner corner, quite intense. This is actually a lip brush by Exo Beauty. It's so good on the eyes. And then with my finger, just spotlighting that on at the lid. So you can see that color a little better. See, it's much more like golden, whereas this is more like champagne kind of. I burnt my, oh my God, that's actually quite a bad burn. Look, I burnt my finger. <laughs> It's the weirdest angle while I was curling my hair today and I'm like well it's kind of aching but when I first did I didn't see a mark and now it's like pretty terrible. I also bought this blush as well which is stunning but I'll try it in a different video. This is the shade Actrice. It's really pretty but today oh I dropped the brush. Today we'll just leave the cheeks how they are because I like how it looks. We have the waterproof Dior on stage liner and it's in the shade matte brown oh i think i bought that on purpose rather than black because i've got so many black eyeliners i was like stuff it let's try something different packaging it looks like that i like how it's got the big brown swatch so it's very easy to tell what color it is even though like the rest is black the rest of the packaging um that's cool applicator nice sharp felt kind of look oh so much pigment comes out really smooth like straight away, look at that application. That is so nice. Like it's not dragging and it's really covering every little bit. Look, like it's opaque with one layer. So far so good. Hopefully I don't screw up my wing. He has such a sharp line. Look at that. Oh my, it's so smooth. It's not dragging at all. And my eyelids drag normally. But even with more pressure. It's so easy to use. Oh my god, I got a little bit carried away with the wing there, but it's so easy to use. Oh my goodness, this might be a new favorite brown liner. I hope it lasts well, like as in like the amount of product you get. Whoops. Why am I so overboard with my eyeliner today? Literally, it's so easy to use. And the color is stunning. It's just a really nice dark brown. Perfect. I'm gonna have to clean up that edge because I don't know why I went so high. Oh, very carried away. There is the tiniest amount of bleeding, but it doesn't go far. 
it's still so good i'm just committing to the like really dramatic liner now i'm just acting like it was all part of the plan like it's not like we've got a lot of um you know eyeshadow on anyway so it gives it something interesting can't get over it i love this if you're looking for a new eyeliner i recommend this i wonder if the black is just as good surely so i've got the tiniest bit of bleeding just here why am I making this thicker? I need to stop. Oh my god, I'm literally... <laughs> I'm covering half my eyelid now. What the fuck? I'm just gonna pretend like it's part of the plan. Okay, let's see how easy it is to clean up. It's not too bad. Okay, this is the worst eyeliner application I think I've ever done in my life. Literally. It's at the point where I now have to make the side ugly and thick too. What is wrong with me? Okay, it's part of the look, it's part of the plan. It was on purpose, not at all, but let's pretend. Okay, so next up we have the mascara. This is the Iconic Over Curl. Um, I love Dior mascaras, I've tried them in the past. Are they worth the money? They're amazing, but so are Maybelline mascaras. Do you know what I'm saying? It just depends what brands you like, it depends what your budget is, etc. This mascara is bomb. This is actually a repurchase. I'm pretty sure I decluttered my last one. I think I finished using it all up. Um, this is, I'm pretty sure it's the brown one, is it? Yeah, brown. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so into like brown. Yeah, I think I decluttered my black one. I would definitely repurchase it, but I just already had so many black mascaras, so went for something different. Um, you can search on my channel if you want to see the black one in action. It's very black. This is how the brown one looks. The wand and... The formula of these mascaras is amazing, honestly. This one feels quite dry though, compared to how my black one was. Like, this is brand new. Maybe I just need to get more on the wand. Okay, yeah, there we go. I'm probably gonna have to put on falsies today because of how horrendous my eyeliner skills are, but yeah, it really, it's so hard to see because of the eyeliner. It really separates and makes your lashes look so beautiful and like thick and long. I don't really know if it curls that much considering it's called overcurl but uh, I just wish you could really see like you can kind of see the texture there look how separated they are and thick they are it's a really good mascara it really is if you have the budget for it I'd give it a go. Checking it on my bottoms it just looks so soft and stunning but still defined I really like this color I don't have a setting spray though I'm not sure if Dior does one do they? I don't know can someone comment below and let me know if Dior does them? <laughs> Like, look at this look right now, though. Even with the crazy eyeliner, it looks so pretty and fresh. With the lips, even. Like, I would never wear my lips just like this with a full face. I prefer lip pencils, but we've got that soon. But just saying, like, all the colors together, like, it, I just look fresh and, like, like flawless. But still, even with the ugly eyeliner, it's still not overdone. Like, it just, oh, it's such a vibe. I love it. Let me know if you've ever tried any Dior makeup and what do you think? Um, Dior was actually, I'm pretty sure, one of the first high-end brands or luxury brands that I bought. I'm sure it was this brand. I'm sure it was Dior. And I bought it on an airplane. Do you remember back in the day when you'd be on the plane and you'd buy, like, you'd buy Duty Free on the, the plane? I was looking through the, bo uh, the booklet because I was bored. And I think I was coming back from Ireland, perhaps. Um, so this was way back when I kind of first started my channel, right? And I purchased a blue book I'm pretty sure it was Dior. I had like the petting kind of look like the you know the pleathery look and it was dark blue or dark purple or whatever and it had eyeshadows in it and it had that dark blue shimmery eyeshadow that I used in my club and get ready with me videos from like way back in the day if you guys remember me doing the smoky blue eye like I'm pretty sure it was Dior right I'd have to go check my videos but I'm pretty sure it was a Dior eyeshadow palette so you know, Dior's been here with me for a long time. And that palette was my favourite. I wonder what ever happened to it. I can't remember what I did with it. I wish I kept it because it's quite iconic. <laughs> it's the problem with me. Like, I'm not a sentimental person at all. Like, I'm cutthroat. I get rid of stuff so easily. Like, anything. Um, there's very little things in my life that I feel attached to. So, <laughs> you know, but then in the hindsight, I'm like, oh, I wish I kept that. But, like, at the time, I'm just like, eh, <laughs> whatever. I've got, like, a mug and a photo of my granddad and um what else do I have the mug was from my nan and granddad's house and it reminds me of my childhood because it was the mug I used to use it like it's like a five-year-old um it's like this old china like green cup and I've just got it in like a little suitcase I've got a photo of my granddad with my childhood dog 
Um, I can't think of really anything else that I'm super sentimental about. Like I love my engagement ring, but I always wear that. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just not very sentimental. Which is kind of sad. I don't know. Is anyone else like me or am I heartless? No, no, I'm not heartless. Because I'm literally the world's biggest empath. <laughs> like, I can't handle it. <laughs> but I just, I don't know. I'm, I don't like clutter. Which is ironic because, like, I literally live in clutter all the time. Because my job just, it's a lot. Oh my god, it comes with a sharpener. So this is the um, Dior Contour Lip Liner Pencil. In the shade 100 with brush and sharpener. Nude look, it's called. So... Oh, should I wipe this off? Oh, look, it gives your lips a really nice flushy colour, even when it's gone. The lip pencil. I mean, uh, lip balm. Oh my god, it broke. Okay, Dior went off to a good start. What the heck? Okay. There goes like $5 worth of product down the drain. <laughs> it feels weird to sharpen, but I mean, it comes with a sharpener, so like, surely you're supposed to sharpen it. You know, like, sometimes when you have lip pencils and you're like, I don't know if I'm supposed to sharpen this or like, just wind it up. That was the vibe I was getting. Okay. The product seems creamier now that I've sharpened it too though. Maybe the outside was quite waxy. So it had a lot of like resistance, you know, when applying it. Whereas now it feels creamier. But it doesn't sharpen nice and sharp. The colour's beautiful but I don't think it's worth it. But hey, for a whole Dior video, for one product to be like a fail, I'm pretty happy with that, <laughs> to be honest. Usually videos have a lot more fails than that. It's quite like... Not sheer, I don't know, kind of sheer and quite waxy feeling, but it almost feels kind of nice though when you rub your lips together because it's like, I don't know, smooth. All right, I just built it up and to be honest, I love the way it looks by itself, the color. It's a very peachy nude, it's not like a beige kind of nude and it does come with this little brush on the other end so you can like, you know, blend it. If you just want to do like a literal line around your lip, you can do a line and then kind of like blend it in. I'm keeping it because I paid good money for that, but it's not a favorite. I need lashes. I'm just gonna do some like half lashes or something. Or actually, I might just pop on these. These are Princess by Exo Beauty. They are so elegant and stunning. So they're like crisscross. See how they're real crisscrossy and quite long, but not too full on. Hopefully, these balance out, you know, the look. I mean, eyeliner. I can't even speak. What is wrong with me? You know what? It's coffee time. Please, revive me. <laughs> I'm just testing how they're gonna look. I feel like those are gonna look so pretty. You know when you just miss the pot, like mascara or glue or whatever, and like you go zinc straight into like your friggin, like what is that? I always do it with mascara as well, like I miss the tube and I'm just like zinc on my hands. Does anyone else do that? Or is that just a me thing? And I'm just pushing them up while they are sticking, just so that they kind of pop a little bit more against the really thick eyeliner. I don't know, I feel like they look cute though. Does Dior do eyelashes? I've never seen them if they do. Anyways, cute. See the before and after it all? I hope so. And then just because the lash is obviously black, I might just see what happens So I put a little bit of the brown mascara on top of them. Like it doesn't look bad, like, you know, it's kind of more real life where you can kind of see where the brown hits the black. But I'm just gonna coat those. Look how pretty those lashes are. I don't know, I'm, I'm obsessed. They're so soft but still like, I don't know, it's like when you look at them you're just like wow. Like they just look so pretty and like wispy and long and I don't know, I love the crisscross look. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I never used crisscross lashes for a really long time. I went for like thick or like cluster or wispy. Not crisscrossy crossy wispy, you know? But those are so pretty. I'm obsessed. Okay, to finish the lips, what are we gonna do? I have a dual lipstick and my favorite gloss from them. Don't mind the mess in the back. I had to move everything to be able to open and shut my drawers because I put that much new makeup that we're, you know, testing, you know, on camera. Look at it all. Um, you know, in a future video, I've got a lot of full face first impressions worth of stuff. So if you guys like them, make sure you comment and let me know. This is the Dior Addict Lipstick in 581 Beat. Stunning colour. It's a very Shenexo circa 2016 kind of colour. But it just makes you look so fresh. Like, I love these kinds of colours. Amazing. It's so creamy as well. Like, hydrating feeling, you know, the whole shebang. And then this is the Lip Glow Oil Color Reviver, which also just gives you like a fresh tint, which is so beautiful. No makeup days or light makeup days or if you just don't like a lot of your lips. 
The lip glosses themselves are amazing by Dior too. I do have them too, but I've used them a lot in videos already. So this, yeah, is like a really hydrating lip balm kind of product. It's in the shade 001 Pink. All of these products just go beautifully together. I've actually used like a lot of this product. It's like half empty, but oh, it's like pepperminty. The Dream. I love, love, love that. And also this right here. This is the Lip Maximizer Hyaluronic Acid Lip Plumper incredible cutest packaging i love this so much i'll also link this down below and list it down below 001 amazing like i don't even need it because i've got everything else but like oh it's just so delightful i love it recommend all of those gloss products and the lipsticks really nice too okay i feel like we're pretty much done i don't have setting spray i feel like this was a little bit half-assed considering i forgot about eyeshadow somehow i don't understand what happened let's just pretend like it never happened everything seemed to just glide on effortlessly except for the lip pencil um the one thing that didn't glide on also effortlessly was probably the mascara i feel like mine's a little bit clumpy compared to the black one but i still loved it and i'll just chuck a couple of eye drops in maybe i just need to like give it a good mix up or something like that but I mean it still looks bomb like amazing and it didn't go on clumpy so that's fine it's just like one of those kind of like less liquidy formulas you know so whatever but yeah honestly like I am wrapped and this eyeliner like okay imagine it with like actually not terrible applications I'm obsessed the color is so nice too it's just a little bit less harsh than a black and it just goes on like a dream and the felt tip has stayed perfectly sharp incredible anyway i'm gonna stop talking now i'm sorry i don't know i'm just losing the plot or something but i'll get a blah, blah, blah. i'll see you in my next video what is wrong with me bye <laughs> i should have refilmed that part but oh well Dead.